can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Tell them that God's gonna cut you down. Tell them that God's gonna cut you down. My name is Nick McKenna. I'm the Assistant Athletic Field Maintenance Manager here for the A&M Athletic Department. I grew up in Iowa on a farm, did lawn care, and that's kind of how I got into turf. Um, but I did my undergraduate degree at Iowa State and just kind of by dumb luck when I was graduating college found a job down here working with Craig and Leo. My degree is actually in turf grass, so I have a pretty strong background, I guess, educationally wise in turf grass and then roughly 15 years of experience doing it now too on top of that. I oversee Olsen Field on a daily basis as far as game prep, practice prep, anything that goes on here is kind of in my wheelhouse. Our preparation really begins well in advance of just a game day. I mean, it's honestly, we're trying to maintain this at a major league standard year round. A typical game day, it's hard to call them typical just because the game times change. Um, but for Friday night's game, tomorrow night for example, I'll usually roll into the ballpark somewhere between 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. Usually the first thing we're going to do as far as maintenance for the field is make sure all of the heavy, the concentrated clay areas are patched back up and repaired from the day before. So the pitcher's mound, the batter's boxes, the bullpens, um, those get our first focus just because we like to get everything patched back together and that's all got to be done before we can do any of our other work. And then the moisture is how we dictate, you know, how the field's really going to play, how the ball's going to roll, how the players' spikes are going to go in and out of the dirt, their traction, sliding. Um, that's all managed with how we manage the moisture on the dirt. Um, so we focus on that a little bit and then we're going to back back up. We go back to the grass. We'll make sure we, we do our mowing and uh, get everything striped up and looking pretty and put down the foul lines and then we'll go back to the dirt, uh, dragging, watering continually. Um, and that kind of leads us into mid L afternoon um, where we're doing our kind of final prep work and getting everything cleaned up for batting practice and, and then leading into the game. Well, it's the finest surface in all the country, and it's been known far and wide that way for an awful long time. Nick McKenna is not just the head groundskeeper for Olson Field. He's part of our team and one of our staff members, and he's involved, and his family are involved in everything that we do away from the field as well. That's how important he is to us and his crew. They spend countless hours that people don't truly understand making sure that surface is, is what it is. A lot of it's dictated by our coaches and just the biggest thing, no two days and no two teams are alike, so our job is continually evolving. It changes year to year, day to day, depending on a who's in the lineup, just the overall makeup of that team, obviously that day's weather. Um, so there's so many different factors that influence what we do and how we do it. And over the years, I've kind of gotten to know what Coach Childers wants and what his expectations are. And, um, I interact with the players on a daily basis too, because I want their feedback. I want to know how the field is playing for them. If, if there's they like their position area a certain way. We try and groom it to make them the most comfortable because that's the biggest thing we have to have um, between me and the players is they have to trust that the surface is going to be the same every single day um, and that I'm providing them that consistency so that that ground ball that they take today during practice is going to perform and bounce and roll the exact same way that it's going to bounce and roll tomorrow in a game. The job that Nick McKenna does is absolutely unreal. He's by far the best fields crew with his crew not just McKenna but everybody with him are the best in the United States I mean they put so much work into it and it really helps us out for what we see on practice and what we see on game days I mean we, we can't thank them enough for how much they bless this team. Nick's always creative and he's always you know outside the box when he's trying to make a new pattern. That's kind of the fun creative component of our job obviously there's the traditional ones that we try and we'll do those a lot of times too but um, we do like just for the game experience, the players, the coaches, the fan experience. Um, that's a big part of what we do is, is just that overall aesthetic value of the field um, enhances the overall image of A&M athletics and the experience that our fans have. So we try and mix it up and you know the fun ones we really do are when we start doing the logos. We did the script Aggies a couple years ago off the old, the old school uniforms. And, that's probably my favorite. It's also probably the most complex and the most difficult one I've done to this point in time, which is why we haven't repeated it, just because the amount of time um, it takes from our end as far as getting it laid out and making it look right. If we're doing our job right, that means 
we have had virtually no impact on the game. These guys put in a lot of time and effort and they appreciate what we do. And, and for us, that's, you know, that's satisfaction to know they appreciate, um, you know, for our players to come back from Minute Maid last week and say, hey, you're, this field is as good or better than what we played on last week at Minute Maid. That's, we hold that as a high, high compliment. Um, but then, you know, we, I rely heavily on my crew. So I've got a great group of fellow co-workers and, and student workers that every day come out here and they try and reach that standard that I'm expecting for them. And they bust their butts day in, day out through the sun, the rain, the warm, the cold. Um, so, you know, without them, we, I couldn't be successful in anything that I do out here. So um, they're a huge part of what we do and I can't thank them enough for that.